What's up, everybody? It's easy. And yes, it's true. Gave Nerve the night off. Decided that we were going to do the two verse two tonight with Wild Karma. He's the leader of the clan. And we had an awesome time. It's real fast paced. So once we get into it, it's going to kind of move real fast. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the best card for, for each Wild and myself during the match, during each, each of the battles. So. He's using a hog cycle deck. He's gonna change it halfway through the halfway through the video. I use the same deck pretty much the entire time, which I have no idea what you would call it. But uh, the main cards in it are the bowler, which I use as uh, as a tank, and then I'll cycle through to the different to uh, to minions and rage, and let's see what else I'll use. I, I use a bunch of different cards to try to just try to scrap my way <laughs> to to hang with these people. Because I am definitely the least experienced of them all. So, we'll get right into it. My whole goal, I'll just tell you what I'm thinking right now, is... is to try Whenever whenever they come at us down one lane, I'm going to try to put the bowler in. Right in, front of the, right in front of the tower. And he'll push back whatever's right there. And then... I'm going to try to play off wild. Which I guess that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Now what they were doing is they had, uh, I guess, a siege deck because they kept on putting in the, the same thing. They kept on putting in the mortar, and every time they would come at us with a bunch of troops, while well, I would hit them the tornado, I would hit them with the the fireball, and that worked real well for us. Uh, we I think we both had the goblin barrel, which we kept on running into people that had both log and um, and arrows, so they didn't work that well. Uh, Wild was using the furnace, which let me tell you, furnace when you know how to use it right, that is a really good building to have. Uh, it definitely outdid the mortar in this case right here. Uh, they had the mega knight, and we what we did to counter the mega knight was we used the minions and the rage, and that worked time and time again. <laughs> And also, uh, I think I have Bandit, and my, one of my big weapons was actually the, the Infernal Dragon. Even though the Infernal Dragon, I don't think, ever did take a tower, the threat of it is what really helps. So, as they're coming down, now we also try to switch lanes as much as possible. Now, I don't know what other people do. I just know how people beat us. And they beat us by defending and then the retaliation you know the the big counter strikes and they kept on dropping off they, they dropped the mega knight on us again and so now you have mega knight coming down while you'll see he will block all of these different big big troops by putting in the the furnace right in the core right in the middle and then what I'll try to do is I'll try to get on top of them with uh, the, the the minions and the, these guys are laughing at us thanks uh, also, he's been using the Executioner since day one. That was probably his number one card for a long time. I would say, I don't know, in this in this battle right here, probably the Executioner was his number one card again. Um, I'd probably say mine was probably the Fireball. I don't know. What do you think? Now, I did, we do have a couple of really good replays. Including one that I had no idea that we actually did what we did. Uh, I... I I shuffled it around and put it towards the back. Uh, and then I have one just by myself that I was just kind of tinkering around, around with it at the end. Okay, now this right here, I'm using a tablet. I don't know what Wild's using, but I'm using a tablet. And when we came, when I came on, they were already on our tower. I don't know how that happened. So I put mains on them. And then we did a little counter strike. So we ended up getting, I think, uh, about a thousand off their tower. They, we, they got us for a, a little under that. We have a couple of little celebratory moments too. <laughs> so now, looks like they're going to try to use the ice golem as a tank and then come in behind it with uh, the elite barbarians. And there's a the tornado, there's the fireball. That works really well. That's the first time I've really been able to use both at the same time. Now, this is one, something I hate. And that's the Mega Knight and the Inferno and the Inferno Tower. So let the now you let the Mega Knight come onto your side a little bit. That way your towers start hitting it. And now he's pretty much put a stop to him with the Executioner, and then he used that he actually used the building 
to come in behind. Now I was over on the right hand side trying to defend against the the hog rider. They zapped quick. They zapped uh, my, the first set of of uh, I'm getting behind goblins, <laughs> and I put a goblin barrel on them. And they constantly, constantly kept this ice golem coming at us. And now here it is again. Here's this the threat of the infernal dragon. So now they have to react to it. You can't let the infernal dra dragon get on a tower. It's pretty simple to react to it, really. So they put the minions in. Minions in. That distracts them. Uh, Wild with the tornado. Me with the fireball. I'm gonna have to say that the, that the tornado and fireball is probably what did it this this match too. Um, another another good match with the tornado fireball. I think that saved us in like four or five different times in this and just in this one match right here. And Wild's much more patient than I am. I'm used to playing with Nerve, who's all offense all the time. And it seems like when we switch up and I'm playing with Wild, he is the one that is really, really patient. And I'm always with no elixir, waiting to <laughs> tapping it to try to get uh, nothing happen. <laughs> so there, there was my defense of the Hog Rider on the left-hand side. They get the tower on the left. And in comes uh, a couple of elite barbarians on the right. Defended with, defended pretty well. Uh, the 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 goblin gang is actually a pretty good defense against uh, the the elite barbarians, unless they have a zap. And then they'll zap those uh, goblins, and then the elite barbarians will one sh one shot every one of them, and you won't even get a third of their damage down. So then they'll get, you know, they can get fifteen hundred off a tower if, if they manage to get that on you. And so there they go, dropped it. they dropped Mega Knight right in on our side with Elite Barbarians. And look at this, one bowler manages to get take out the Mega Knight, uh, split up the two Elite Barbarians. The Executioner goes, cleans out. Uh, they have a rage. There's me shooting my own tower. <laughs> Missed Dog Rider. One of, the, one of the few misfires tonight. Uh, and, and once you can put a troop in right behind the, right behind the Inferno Tower, that's a huge help. And uh, also, with between the executioner and the bowler, uh, they they really just uh, nullified the elite barbarians. They can they can do so much damage, but you have you drop the the bowler down, and he'll he'll push him back with a, with that with a boulder, and then you have the executioner that's that's damaging both with that giant axe of his. So that was a tie. I don't know what our best uh, card was that one. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that again before I put that in. Okay, now here's these two clowns. I don't know if that <laughs> cool rude dude and cool block bro. So they're probably kids, and they wouldn't shut up. And there's me. Wow. And and you know they're kids when they copy you. <laughs> and Wild's probably already sick of it. You know we've probably got them uh, by I don't know 50 years between the two of us or more. But the, but this shows you that kids can play. Uh, they they played real well. For the most part, using the about using the flying machine. Now the flying machine is is pretty strong, but uh, minion horde is definitely um, a one up on on the flying machine. They just overpowered the flying machine. Uh, they weren't able to weren't able to stop that push on the, on the left at all. So we end up taking a tower right away. And so at this point, now we just apply pressure. And you know they were they were more worried about. Uh, talking to us than trying to defend I don't know what they're waiting on right here uh, I think they were waiting on putting in a giant skeleton or some you know some big troops okay so they put in a minion horde and a hog rider we uh, he tornadoes them I fireball them gone again with the, with the fireball and the tornado that's a, what a deadly combination that is now you can't see what's going on behind us but they actually put in a graveyard right behind us and then also uh, poison. So I put in the goblin gang or whatever that's called, and uh, they disappeared right away. But he put an executioner in on them, and I think this is about the end of it. Now we put a bowler in, put the hog rider in. Uh, here comes a miner. Here comes the goblin barrel, and it's g gone. That was, a, that was actually one of the easier matches we had. And you know sometimes the competition is pretty intense. But sometimes you know end up with a match like that. 
the two of us were both level 11s and totally different styles of play like I said I'm a I'm pretty fast and furious compared to wild but it's funny because compared to nerve I'm very reserved and I play defense but I think that's just the different styles I know how she plays so I try to I, I try to back off and try to make sure I have at least six or seven looks at all times because I, I just know I have to defend a lot more with her and now we have a big push coming down the right and believe it or not guys that doesn't help these big with these big pushes like this right especially right at the beginning um, probably not the best idea because they dropped in uh, the Mega Knight he takes out everything luckily I had the infernal dragon on top of him which was we were able to take him out but then we at the, on the left hand side we put in the bowler and uh, the bandit and we almost take out that tower on the left and so now it's just now we're gonna start applying pressure and this works really well I, I, I think this is the one that this 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 works really well so they have a they have a bunch of good um, counter cards for us though because they have the baby dragon which is a good counter to the minion horde because it does splash damage and it, it will two shot the entire minion horde I do have a good counter for the baby dragon though with the infernal dragon we have that giant now at this point I believe that um, wild has switched decks because he wanted to have a, he needed to have a little more tank tankiness so he adds the giant and I'll tell you what the giant is a huge card and so oh now I remember this one now these guys have their plan is to use two I don't know if they clone them or if they just double rage them I think they rage them no, they didn't double rage them because that was me raging. Okay, so they have they used two balloons and a rage, and I raged up the left tower. We ended up they, we ended up losing the tower, but that could have been the match right there. So that was actually we dodged a bullet right there because we didn't know that that was going to happen. We had no idea that they had they were going to use the two two uh, balloons on us. But now now we know. So now we have to be ready with the, you know we're we're going to use the same tactics. We're going to use the tornado. We're going to use the fireball. We're going to try to pull back on the tornado. Uh, they also have. Uh, the Mega Knight, which does a number on the giant, and the Baby Dragon is going to take care of those uh, that minion horde pretty quick. And they have a Wizard, which Wizards pretty much eliminates anything that's in the air. They're, they're Wizards are tough. And now we use the minion tank, brings in uh, one from the center and one off to the left, offset to the left. So two balloons coming in under rage, has a Wizard following him up, but we managed to hold that one off. Uh, the, the execution I think goes down with the with the bomb. And they take the tower. So, pretty smooth right there. And I, I forget what happens at this point. I don't know. There's a couple of draws I think that we have. I don't know if this is one of them right here. But look at look at look at the bowler just bouncing, <laughs> bouncing the Valkyrie back. Now got the baby dragon coming in. Uh, the Mega Knight coming in. Mega Knight just ate a fireball. I think Wild turned him around with a knight. Here comes the double. Uh, here comes the. Here comes the double balloon. Use the infernal dragon, fireball, and a tornado. Stop them. Both both bombs dropped early. I don't know if we got any damage on that at all. And now here comes the counter push right here. Uh, got got a rage and. I believe they. I believe they countered with the Valkyrie, and now we have the Golden Barrel on the backside. We, we got the giant coming in and when you we have a giant on the on the main tower and how strong is that the giants are just overpowered I think great when you have them on your side okay now this is this is probably the highlight of the whole video and I forget about what the best card was last one probably the giant gotta have to say the giant was the best card last time okay so they have bats and they're immediately they drop down uh, on a elixir pump so they may have three musketeers I don't know they may have three musketeers they may have they may be going with Gollum and night witch so we don't know what's gonna happen quite yet so we're, we're starting to bring out some big troops I got the I have the bowler coming down it beats up the the wizard pretty well and now the execution is probably gonna just one shot the wizard as soon as it gets to it and he does now they have a witch coming in they have a baby dragon coming in dead center uh, we're, we're kind of stalling them out by throwing a golden barrel in uh, wild drops in the musketeer and th th there goes uh, they drop down the golem and so at this point right here I'm thinking golem night witch and they follow up with minions but oh and uh, okay so we tornado them pull them back 
and we actually took care of that pretty good they use, they have a, a full lightning which that's pretty dangerous and so far we'll come out on scape and that um, put in the minions they zap the minions so now the bats can overpower the minions which kind of sucks because now they can zap and bat the minions which really is which going to put a damper on that Okay, they have Elite Barbarians, so now they have Elite Barbarians, and they have Golem, and they have Zap, and they have Bat, so they have a counter for pretty much every single thing that we have. So, at this point, I'm thinking we're pretty much in severe trouble, and my mindset is that I'm going to try to play defense every time I can, uh, let them bring on the Golem, and kind of play off the Golem, try to kill the Golem, and then try to do a counter push as soon as we kill the Golem. Uh, don't want to let them build up elixir so we're going to try to hit we're going to try to pounce on the elixir uh pumps right away <laughs> we ended up double fireballing the the witch so the witch is gone uh put in the put in the dragon and now we go for a little push here we got the we got the hog rider and under rage and you don't see her but you ha but at the same time uh bandits coming in but meanwhile, they have Gollum coming in down the right-hand side. Uh, Wild puts in the furnace, and then we do the same thing that we've been doing, and we tornado them. And so now they start piling in the troops. They have a uh, hog rider. They have the Gollum. They have the Gollum splits in half. We ended up ma we managed to take that Gollum out. And now it's looking like the end of the attacks coming and this is when I didn't realize it But this is when wild realizes that we are still sitting at 3052 each tower So they had a maxed golem level six or not level six. I don't know if that's max, but uh, But damn never got a hit on either tower. That was definitely surprising so Great time with wild enjoyed that a little different than playing with nerve uh Nerves definitely uh, I, I enjoy playing with her, but she's uh, Adds years to my life every time we play <laughs> uh, But and I learned a lot from wild uh, We ended up playing for like an hour straight uh, We were both in clash we we're both preparing for the war tomorrow And we decided to take five minutes over in royal which turned into an hour straight uh, battle <laughs> so decided to go in one last time going for myself and ended up getting a really big push on the left side and used the rage spell and sometimes you just get a good push off and that's all that was ended up having the bandit she came in with some some goblins with rage takes out two towers before you know it and that's the end of it and that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed the video don't do many clash royale videos really love playing the game want to do a lot more uh, it's hard for me to get into the royal videos because we do, I do so much uh, clash of clans stuff But I really enjoy uh, making them uh, Love the game. So hopefully you guys like watching it uh, Working on another clash of clans video appreciate everyone for watching till the end so I'm out till next time. It's been easy. Take care <laughs>